There were four rooms on the first floor, four rooms on the second floor, and two rooms in the basement. And those two rooms in the basement were the original kitchen and dining room. But those would later be brought upstairs. Five generations of the same family lived in this house from its construction in 1816 all the way to 1951. So there are many time periods represented throughout the house. And we'll see that as we move throughout the home, some different styles and things from an early 1800s time all the way to the modern era of the 1950s. You'll get to see a bottle of Listerine upstairs. That is not from the 1800s. <laughs> and so our first room today is going to be right over here in the family's parlor. would serve as only a public space. This is also where we meet some of the main characters of our story today. The first one being in this portrait right here. This depicts Elijah Miller. He was the first resident to move into this house upon its construction in 1816. He moved here with his two daughters, Frances and Lizette Miller, following the passing of his wife. When he moves to the Auburn area, he serves as county clerk and then eventually judge in Cuba County. While he's judge, Elijah Miller deals with a lot of real estate. He helps choose the location of Fort Hill Cemetery. He helps choose the location of the Auburn prison, things like that. 